All right, Lance, so you have in front of you kind of a flight, if you will, yes. of kind of a nice spectrum of the experience of drinking beer with multiple styles. Walk us through what you look for in each style of the beer in front of you. This was uh, our most award-winning beer. I'm really proud of this one. Uh, so I think we, we nail it stylistically. Uh, it's an American stout, which should be uh, very dark. Uh, it should be hop forward. It should definitely have a hop presence. Um, and you can tell the American style hops from their, from their attributes. They're piney, they're resinous. Uh, they can be very citrusy. Um, the ones in this one are very piney. Uh, this also has a very thick body. So then you snip it, and it's also followed up with that really piney, resinous uh, aroma. Also, you have some chocolate in there, some coffee, Ooh. and then you go ahead and, and give it a sip. And it definitely has that assertive bitterness that the hops are gonna bring, the elevated hop level in this particular style. Now, on the very opposite end of the spectrum, we have our Boise Light Ale. This is our most popular beer by far. Very easy to drink. The drinkability factor is very high on this. Very light body. No bitterness whatsoever. Really light, light malt flavor as well. Uh, finishes crisp, easy to drink. A very popular style right now is, is the hazy beers. Uh, that's our better hazy than never. Uh, it's named that way because I wasn't uh, sold on the hazy thing for a long time. You know, I was just, I'm just a traditionalist. I thought beers need to be clear, especially IPAs, but I was wrong. <laughs> it became the most popular beer style at the Great American Beer Fest, the most entered category. So you use a little different technique in brewing these. Uh, we don't put hops in the boil. So with this one, again, you're gonna look at it, it's, it's super cloudy. Um, and with this, this style, that's, that's expected. That's what people are, are expecting. So it doesn't have the assertive bitterness that you would expect. No. But it has a lot of tropical, uh, juicy type uh, flavors. That's very juicy. Yeah. Like that's surprisingly juicy. I didn't anticipate that. This is more of a traditional IPA. Uh, it is a session IPA, so it's a little bit smaller in alcohol. Uh, it has quite a bit of uh, hop uh, presence to it, though. That's that's the, your typical IPA. You're going to have assertive hops. Again, you look at this one, it's clearer. It looks kind of light-bodied. It's like in between the Boise Light and the Haze, right? Yep, yep. It's, I mean, if you swish it around, it's got a little bit more body. It's a little thicker than, than the Boise Light was, for sure. And it's it's similar yeah, it's the floral. similar yeah. to the hazy, but it's got a different hop profile. It's, it's 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 not as dank. Not quite as dank. And again, the the hops are not very aggressive on this one as far as bitterness, but they are very present in the flavor and aroma. You'll like it, uh, yeah. but you're not going to get all the alcohol you do in a typical IPA. Those are usually six or seven percent. This is only four and a half percent. I like. We have a a lawn mowing. Beer, yes. And we have a patio beer. Then we have a patio beer. <laughs> then we have an at night. At night. After dinner beer. Nightcap. Okay, Absolutely. Great. And, and then, then you're socializing. Socializing. Okay. I'm, I'm showing off I'm a beer snob beer. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for enlightening us. Yes. Absolutely. My pleasure. Cheers.